Today for our start today's emulation station desktop edition setup guide for a Nintendo Switch. If you like what you see, stay hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, which is virtually every day, and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at emulation station desktop edition today and how to install the Nintendo Switch emulator Ryu Jinx. So first of all, we're going to need to download the latest version of Ryu Jinx. I'm going to obviously download this for Windows. Once you've downloaded Ryu Jinx, you're going to get a zip folder like I've got just here. So keep that to one side. We're also going to need the latest firmware for this, which as I record this video is 18.1.0. And we're also going to need some keys. This is prod.keys and title.keys. And of course, we're going to need some games for this as well. So I've got two from my collection. This is Sonic Superstars, and this is in .nsp. And I've also got Kirby Star Allies. Now, .xcp games also work too. So let's actually start setting this up in Emulation Station. If I just right-click on my ESDE shortcut, I'm going to go straight to the directory. Now, in the directory, we're going to have an emulators folder. It's quite likely you're going to have some folders in here such as RetroArch. I've got Rio Jinx in here. If I go inside there, and let me just remind you, if you don't have a Rio Jinx folder, create a new folder and then go inside of it. What we're going to do next then is go into that Rio Jinx emulator we downloaded. And if I go into the publish folder, what I'm going to do with this is just highlight everything. So control and A and drag and drop everything inside of that Rio Jinx folder. Okay, once that's done, what we're going to do next then is take a look at the keys. So I'm going to grab both of my keys, prod.keys and title.keys. And I'm going to just drag and drop those inside that ESDE emulators Rio Jinx folder like I've just done. Let's actually start cleaning this up. So I no longer need the Rio Jinx.zip if I right click and delete. And I no longer need the keys folder, so just going to delete that. So everything's in here for now. We've also got the firmware zip folder, so I'm going to also drag and drop that inside. And we're next going to come out and out again. We're going to go into the ROMs directory. And from here, we're going to find Switch. And here's Switch. So what we're going to do is just drag and drop the games inside of there. And we're then going to go back into the emulators folder, into the Rio Jinx folder. And we're going to open up Rio Jinx for the first time, which is the Rio Jinx.exe. Okay, should you get Windows protected your PC, just simply go to more info and run anyway. Okay, so it will likely say keys not found, so that's okay. So if we just press okay on that, what we need to do then is go to file, open Rio Jinx folder. And this is the main folder where things are going to go for Rio Jinx. So what I need to do is just get those keys. So I'm just going to go back to the emulator's Rio Jinx folder. And the reason I put them in this folder is just to keep everything in one place. So I need the prod.keys and title.keys. So if I go back to Rio Jinx and do that again. So file, open Rio Jinx folder. I'm going to go into the system folder and then paste the prod.keys and title.keys in here. If we now just close out of Rio Jinx and open it again, that message should now go. So on second boot with those keys put into place, we no longer have that. We next up need to install firmware. So to do this, we're going to go to tools, install firmware, install a firmware from XCI or zip. So it's now just a case of going into your ESDE folder and we're going to go into emulators and we're going to find Rio Jinx. And here's the firmware file. So we're just going to double left click on this. And we're going to install this. So just press yes. And that's now been successfully installed, so you can OK this now. Next thing we're going to want to do is add our games into Rio Jinx. So to do this, I'm going to go up to Options, and I'm going to go down to Settings. And from here, we're going to find a Game Directories box. So I'm going to go to Add. And from here, it's now just a case of finding your ESDE ROMs switch directory. So I'm going to go into my ROMs folder. And I'm going to scroll down until I find switch. And if I just left click on that once and select folder, 
I can then go to apply and OK and here's my games which has just been populated. Okay, so everything is now in place. And one final check, if I just go back to options, I just need to make sure start games in full screen mode is checked. If I then close out of Rio Jinx, everything's in the correct folders now. So all I need to do is open up ESDE. Okay, so we're inside of ESDE. Here is Nintendo Switch and here's my games. So I need to scrape some artwork. So I'm gonna press start, scraper. Scrape these systems. I'm going to make sure Nintendo Switch is checked and go to back. I'm also going to go down to account settings and make sure my screen scraper username and password is put in. And content settings, I'm going to just download all the artwork possible for these and I'm going to go to start. Okay, so both of those games has been scraped. And if I come out by pressing my B button on the Xbox controller. Here we go. Now, I also need to make sure that ESDE is going to be used in Rio Jinx when I go to boot up one of these games. So, by main menu, by pressing start button, I'm going to go to other settings, alternative emulators, and switch. And here we go. If I didn't do this, then the games will be booting with Yuzu, which I don't have installed. So, I need to make sure Rio Jinx standalone is selected. If I then boot up one of my games... Okay, so the game's booting up fine through Emulation Station Desktop Edition, but my controller isn't working. So I just pressed the escape button, and this has brought me into the emulator itself. I can see what I'm doing here. So I need to configure a controller with this. So I'm going to go up to Options, and then down to Settings. I'm then going to go down to Input. And under Input Device, I need to make sure my Xbox controller is selected. And under controller type, I got the option here to use Joy-Cons or Pro Controller. I'm going to select Pro Controller for this game. And if needs be, we can then manually map out the controller. So if I just left click and so on. So this has automatically done it for me, but that's just to tell you how to do it in case it's not auto match your controller for you. If I then go to apply and OK, and now my button is working fine. Now we can also look at video settings whilst we're here. So to do this, we're going to go to options, settings, down to graphics. And if you get no visuals, in other words, if you get a black screen, just drop down graphics back end and swap it open to OpenGL and that should clear that up for you. Under preferred GPU, if you're using a GPU, which I hope you are if you're trying to play Switch games, make sure your GeForce or whatever graphics card you're using is selected. Under resolution scale, we can upscale this to four times as you can see, but Rio Jinx also recommends not to do that. So I'm going to put this up to two times. We've got anti-aliasing just here. I'm going to put this on FXAA. Scaling filter, I'm going to leave this on bilinear. And anastrophic filtering, don't go too far up with this, otherwise games might lag. So just be modest with that just there, as well as your resolution scale. Aspect ratio really should be kept to 16 by 9 because that's the ratio switch games were developed for. So anyways, once we've done all this, we're going to press apply and OK. And if I then go to check out my game, I'm going to just make sure this is put back into full screen mode. So anyways, I'm going to just go to quit ESDE. Okay, so next up, I'm going to just briefly show you how to install DLC and update game files. So if I go back into my directory again, I'm going to open up the emulator itself. So Rio Jinx and Rio Jinx.exe. 
Okay, so from here, if you've got DLC or updates, what we need to do just here, just literally right click on each one of the games you might have DLC or updates for. And if you go down to manage DLC, for example, we just need to go to add. And then that will take you to the folder where you've got your files. And you just add it from there pretty much. Pretty simple stuff. And that's it for today's ESD Nintendo Switch Rio Drink setup guide. So, like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also, be sure to check out my ESD playlist. I've covered many different systems in the past year, year and a half. And also be sure to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.